Hi, my name is Steven. Welcome to my life surviving schizophrenia. I hope you're having a wonderful day. This is part three of my series on coping strategies that help me survive my schizophrenia. If you haven't seen my previous videos, no worries, you can watch these in any order you want. Today I'm talking about photography. Now I've always enjoyed photography. Um, I remember when I got my phone, my iPhone 4S back in the day, I would go around taking a lot of pictures, mostly of sunsets actually. Pretty good pictures of the sunset, so I'll probably show those on screen. And yeah, so I was into that. But a few years after I actually became ill, I decided to actually take that to the next level. So I got this camera, Coolpix L830. It's a great camera. Sadly, this does not work anymore, but oh, what are you gonna do? It was a great camera though for the time, especially. And I would go around the neighborhood getting some exercise even, which was good for me at the time, because I was not in good shape. So it was good to walk around and take pictures of animals and the ocean, the tide pools especially I enjoyed, as well as like the sky. And then I kind of fell out of it for a while, until maybe two years ago or so, when I decided to get back into it. And now I have this camera right here, Panasonic, it's a great camera. And on occasion, I go out and I take pictures, mostly in the neighborhood or sometimes even with my cousin. And I have taken more pictures of the sky, uh, pictures of trees around me, around the, around my uh, neighborhood, uh, the ocean again. I love taking pictures of the ocean, and it's been really fun and relaxing. It's a good way to get out, get some fresh air, and take some cool pictures and have some good memories doing that. Yeah, so even now actually, uh, more recently, I've been taking pictures with my phone as well, like the macro camera on my phone. And that's really cool too, to see a different perspective than you ever otherwise would. When you're that close up, it looks like a whole different world. And it's really fun. I enjoy photography a lot now. It's relaxing. And it's great to be outside and do something fun. So yeah, it's been it's been helpful for me to take photography photos on occasion, go out and do a walk and do some photography. And it's relaxing, relieves my stress a little, takes my mind off everything and lets me be creative in a different way. So yeah, uh, this has helped me a lot and I think I'm going to keep doing it, obviously, but uh, I think if you have any kind of stress in your life, you might want to try photography. It is a good way, like I said, to express yourself, be creative, as well as get some fresh air and go outside, do something different. For me, I know that was really great because I, when I became ill, I became... I didn't like leaving the house. I became very... I didn't want to go places. It was too stressful to go places. So I'd stay at home instead. And photography was one of the ways that helped me get out of the house and actually do something. Other than just staying in and watching TV and playing games. So yeah, photography has been really great in helping me be creative and also help manage my stress at the same time. And I am excited to continue getting better at photography because it's a great, great hobby, I think, for me at least. So I hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your day, and thank you for watching. Bye.